Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Morgan Bowl. Tonight's Friday night football matchup between the 7-0 Hudson Hawks and the 5-2 Crusaders of Groton Dunstable. The Hawks come in number one in the state power ranking, so it's, uh, it's a pretty big game for them to hold on to that number one spot and keep the home field through the playoffs until they get to a neutral site. Cam, what do you think? I'm happy to be here. Beautiful night for football. Hawks been on a run, you know. I think they can ride that momentum tonight. And uh, they've been playing well. Attaway's been the kind of a cheat code out there for him. And if he can keep it up and defense stays strong, they should be in good shape. The Pete Conti, Camp Sisluck, and Sarah McCulloch. On hand tonight from the Morgan Bowl. One thing you got to concern yourself with, Cam, I, you know, I. I hate to bring it up, but the last couple of games, you see those 15-yard penalties are starting to creep back into the, yeah. into uh, into some of these games. And, the, and early in the year, they were they, the Hawks were great. They they weren't giving up much penalty yardage, but uh, those 15 yarders, you start giving away 15 yards to a team that doesn't earn it. It's uh, it's not going to be a, a very good night for you. So we'll see if um, maybe that was a point of emphasis through the week this week, and uh, and we'll see. I'd say so, yeah. They um, playing with a lot of passion, which you love. A lot of effort out there, but you uh, got to make sure you're disciplined. Yep, captains are on the field for the Hawks. Caleb Luce is number two. Number seven is Will Jackson. Number 15, Ty Malahi. And number 52 is Ryan Yates. Mm -hmm. Harry Palmer. Finn Bernard. Nate Bushnell and Dylan Paradis are your captains for the Crusaders. The Groton Dunstables won the toss. They've elected to to defer to the second half. So the Hawks are going to go on offense to start this game. And we're about set to go from the Morgan Bowl, the seven and zero Hudson Hawks and the five and two Crusaders of Groton Dunstable. And now we're going to pause for the playing of our national anthem, played by the Hudson High School Band, led by Jason Karam. Great job by the Hudson High School band under the direction of Jason Carum, and we are set to go from the Morgan Bowl. Ty Malahi will be deep for the Hawks. On the far side, near side, will be number 25, Jacob Rudd.
kicking off for Groton, number 16, Andrew Ouellette. And we're about set to go. Big game for the Hawks tonight. And we're on the way. Malahi at the 11. Out across the 30. And he's slowed down about the 36 yard line where the Hawks will take over first and 10. Twenty-five yard kick return for Ty Malahi. Jake Galloway, the Hudson quarterback, gives to Rudd. Off tackle on the right side. Gets across the 40 to the 41 yard line. Stopped by number 44, Nate Spinale. Rudd left side this time, runs into traffic. No gain on the play, maybe a short loss. Third down and four. Two receivers to the right for Attaway. He rolls that way underneath for O'Brien. And O'Brien taken out of bounds at the 48. First down, Hudson. Tackle by Ben Stark. Fresh set of downs for the Hawks at their own 49. Oh, it's good to come out and move the chains. Yeah. Get it started. And then we broke them. They just had to stop the play. <laughs> I think we got lucky on that last one. I think the chain was wrapped, a few links oh, were wrapped go. around the bottom of the stick. <laughs> First and 10, Hudson. Rudd. Picked Barry. up quickly, right after the handoff by Will Vogel. Loss of four on the play. Yeah, D had that one figured out, right out the gate. Arias wide to the left. O'Brien near side right. And some movement. It's gonna go against the Hawks. Gotta move them back to their own 49 yard line. Second down and 20 for Attaway and the Hawks. Just underway, 10.03 left in the first quarter. Scoreless, Attaway empty backfield. Gets O'Brien at the 50, picks, back, picks up the initial yardage. Forced out of bounds by Stark and Diego Garcia. Picked up 11 on that play, third and nine. Attaway, he's got to escape the pocket. It's going to go to the left. He's got some room. Throws underneath for lose. First down yardage and more. Takes it down to the Groton Dunstable 31 yard line.
good good play by Attaway to get rid of that ball. He attracted a crowd. Once he got out into open space, he attracted a crowd of about two or three defenders. One too many because they left Caleb Blues open underneath. Was able to get him the ball. First down and 10, Hudson. Attaway faced to Rudd. Gets it forward for about four yards. Call it three yards, second down at seven. Arias and O'Brien wide to the left. Attaway back underneath for O'Brien. Gets it inside the 20. Pushed out of Brown by Finn Bernard on the far side. Moves the chains again for the Hawks. What Cam do, set you up and leave? Oh. <laughs> Just looked to my left, Cam was gone. Arias to the left, O'Brien to the right, and Rudd cuts it back up to the middle, down to the 10. Wrapped up by Sam Dutile. Second down and two. Rudd again, tries the left side, nothing doing. Stopped at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Third down and two. Attaway, looking right, back underneath for Luz. Ooh, pushed out of bounds at the one yard line. I thought his momentum might have taken him in there. Ben Stark able to force him out of bounds at the one. So a lot less stuff going downfield, at least to start the game tonight. They're, they're throwing a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff underneath. Yeah. Kind of seeing where the coverage is going. First and goal, Hawks. And the keeper by Attaway. And the Hawks are on the board. So the one yard run by Attaway has the Hawks on the board. They're ahead six to nothing, extra point to come. And the kick by Malahi is good. 6.42 left in the first quarter. The Hawks are on top, seven to nothing. Yeah. Um, so we were wondering, like, on like touchdowns, if we could just play like the iCarly song. Uh, or no, no, the party USA. Do you guys have your speaker? No, like I couldn't call like last minute. Uh, um, let me see what we can do. Can you come back? Can, come, can you come back at halftime? What? Can we do halftime? Like the song? Like we figure it out at halftime? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yep. The Red Sea is without its large speaker. They want to play it after a touchdown. Yeah, I know. Well, 
<laughs> a little late in the game to be switching things up. <laughs> so 64-yard drive for the Hawks to open this one. Has them on top, seven to nothing, 642 left in the first quarter. Yeah, pretty good drive there. Loose, kick is away, bounces to the 15, picked up by Alex Ritchie. And he's back to the 20 yard line. It's like Arias and Caputo with the special teams tackle. First and 10 Groton from their own 20. Give was to Nate Bushnell. Pick up of two. And Bushnell again, he's wrapped up. Back at the 20 yard line. Gave the two back. And lost one in the process, so it's third down and 11. They lost three yards on the play. Empty backfield. Romich forced out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Campbell cut off the angle. Oh, back to the original line of scrimmage, just shy of it. Fourth down in 11. And the kick is away. It's a short kick. Takes a Groton bounce across the 50. And it's going to be down at the 47. Colin Taylor. That down the punt is not ready. At the Hudson 47. <laughs> punt team was all out of sorts there. for a touchdown. So three and out for Groton Dunstable on their first drive. And it looked like I got a Groton penalty as well. So the Hawks will start in plus territory. They're gonna start at the Groton 48 yard line. First and 10 Hawks. And before that got started, we had a flag offside call against Groton. Be first down at five for the Hawks. Rudd. Loses about four on the play. 
Having trouble getting that edge so far. That was kind of a go-to last game for them. Yeah, they were trying to look like they're trying to go outside to Sam Spencer. Sam Spencer was trying to take on two guys. Right. Now, so Groton's winning the point of attack on that on that far side on the outside of the offensive line, and the flags come once again. Just exchanging penalties here. And this one will be a false start against the Hawks. So they'll move back five yards. Second down of 14. Attaway caught from behind. It's going to be brought down by number three, Will Vogel. Yeah, a rare sack for Attaway. <laughs> Usually yeah. he's pretty tough to corral there. So it's another third and long for the Hawks. Third down and 20. Balls back to their own 42 yard line. Now, if you get half that distance, you're back into the four down territory. Attaway looks downfield, got a man, it's O'Brien. Oh! At the 34 yard line, first down, Hawks. On the money. Attaway on the run there, too, able to throw across his body. He's on target. Fresh set of downs for the Hawks from the Groton Dunstable 33 yard line. Rudd, right side. Good for a couple. Pick up a few, second down and eight. Arias to the right, O'Brien on the left side. Attaway flanked by Jacob Rudd. Attaway looks downfield, he's got a man, Arias. Oh, oh, oh. Beats him deep and a beautifully thrown ball. Underthrown, that gets picked, that's trouble, but Attaway puts enough on it. Great play. There you go, Red Sea. 31 yard touchdown. Attaway to Arias. And the extra point by Malahi is up and it's good. 236 left in the first quarter. The Hawks, two for two. They lead 14 to nothing. That drive, they had to bail themselves out. Got backed up early, hit two big passes. Same end result. For Reyes, his seventh touchdown catch of the season. Of the season. And the 12th touchdown pass for Jake Attaway. Did he get that? Did he get that? A little confusion on the special teams. Looked like they didn't have enough players on the field. 
Montana Cutler. In on the fun. <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Lewis kick is away. Good kick from the 10. Out across the 25 is Harry Palmer. He's brought down by Bar Garrett Giorgio. So Groton will take over first down and 10 from their own 27. Three and out on their first drive. Single back for Romich. Romich looks to his right, puts it up top. Taylor Blues is there, intercepted at the 50. And slides down at the Groton Dunstable 42. Ball hung up there just a little bit too long, Cam. Gave Cam uh, Caleb Blues had a better shot at catching that than the, uh, than the intended receiver did, and it's the Hawks ball. Yeah, he was like the center fielder there. <laughs> just kind of camped under it, pulled it in. Hawks will take over at the Groton Dunstable 43-yard line. Attaway steps up in the pocket, lets it go. He throws one up for grabs by himself. And it was knocked down, incomplete pass. Arias was the intended receiver. Yeah, that pass that time, a little underthrown. But that was deep. It's a tough, tough ball. They kind of got lucky that that didn't give it right back to him. Yeah, by the time that, by the time that, uh, <laughs> That got down there, the double coverage was, was there. <laughs> firmly in position to make yeah. that play. The, not quite sure how they didn't. Second down and 10. Attaway fakes the handoff, takes off out of the backfield, gets to the far side, picks up about 11. It's gonna be a first down for the Hawks. Takes it down to the 31 yard line of the Crusaders. First down and 10. Arias left side, O'Brien right, hand off to Rudd. Driven back at the line of scrimmage by number 54, Dylan Paradis. Call it a gain of one, second down and nine. O'Brien and, and Arias both to the right. Loose out of the slot as well. Underneath, easy pitch and catch to Arias down to the 17. Chased out of bounds by Finn Bernard. Another first down for the Hawks, first and 10. Ball spotted at the Groton Dunstable, 18. Three to the left for Attaway. He's gonna roll that side. Hits loose at the 10. He's forced out of bounds. It's a good choice by Attaway there. He had some layers. Uh, took the easy pass and catch. 
Sam Dutile with the stop, gain of eight. He's just, he's just, he's having the time to survey it and pick the guy that's open too as well. Exactly. Three to the right this time for Attaway. And touchdown to Arreyes. Eleven yards on the touchdown. The extra point by Malahi is good. Thirty-seven seconds left in this first quarter. The Hawks for the mighty first quarter up twenty-one to nothing. Second touchdown pass of the night for Attaway. Wide open on that one. Must have been a blown coverage. That was an easy pitch and catch. The Hawks, three scores in one quarter. One quarter. Just like know. last week. I'm trying to see how many touchdowns we see last week between two teams. It was like 12 of them. It was a three hour game last yeah. week. I got in the car, it was almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yeah, last week was a, was a marathon game. Let's go. Let's go. Well, we have a, a 13 scores or something. Yeah, there's a, a lot, lot of, lot of touchdowns. Was... And a kick away from Luz. Down to the eight. Harry Palmer with the return. Flag is down. <laughs> Penalty's going to go against the Hawks. I think it came on the tackle. The tackle was uh, somewhat aggressive, but this is football. Yeah, I mean, if you lift him and do that suplex move, that's one thing, but he kind of just fell down backwards with him. It looked like anyway, but. It was kind of a suplex. Yeah, I guess you could. It had a, yeah, I don't know, it was a borderline. First and 10, Groton from their own 45. Hand off up the middle, good for a yard or two. Call it three. Second down and seven. And a crease in the middle. Carry by Nate Bushnell. And that's the end of the first quarter. We're through one here at the Morgan Bowl. Explosive first quarter for the Hawks it was. It's the Hudson 21 and Groton Dunstable nothing. Dance team getting after it. Yeah. 
the Halloween man. Everybody's in the Halloween spirit. Well, home games have been pretty lively this year. A lot of people Everybody coming out. Everybody loves a winner. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Full stands, dance team, cheer team. Saturday quiet tonight, anything to add? <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing to add. I offered her a mic. Hey, her job is hot enough. She uh, <laughs> keeps us connected and then uh, makes sure that uh, That's right. the signal is strong and you're able to see these. And thanks for joining us. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> She's on mute. Yeah. She's on music too. She got a lot. She can wear some mini hats. Oh, that was you playing the music. I thought they found their. Uh, I thought they found their speaker. No, no, we oblige up here. Get extra money to be the DJ. <laughs> it's like he stepped out in front of the Hawks bench. Bushnell. Carries to the near side for Groton Dunstable first down. And a quick throw over to the left. And Rudd all over that play. Caden Wolfrey was the intended receiver. Yeah, that throw a little bit too far backwards and uh, lost took a five him away. on the play. Play action, throw down the near side, and Malahi lays out just ahead of his outstretched arms, almost intercepted. Third down and 15. Romich throws underneath for Bushnell, came out of the backfield, just did a little wheel run into the uh, second level. Picked up about 15. Yeah, that Hawks D-line uh, was, they bit hard on that uh, screen. Opened up a little running room. Good job by the backers filling that in. Romich downfield. Oh. He had his outright white outside receiver open. So the Hawks take over on downs. So take over at their own 39-yard line. Attaway throws underneath for O'Brien. Into Groton Dunstable territory at to the 44. He's taken out of bounds by Finn Bernard. That play's been there all night, Kim. Yeah, he runs a little Texas out, and uh, it's yeah, it's been wide open, right in the flats. So, so far, three drives, three scores, right? Yeah. That's efficient football. So the Hawks sit at number one in the uh, Division Five power rankings. This is statewide. Um, so if they're able to win tonight, the Hawks will be playing here next Friday night. 
the opponent to be determined. Maynard sits at number four, Worcester Tech. Um, our Hudson opponent this year is at 13. And these Groton Dunstable Crusaders are sitting at number 17 currently. Run. Oh, good cut. Side steps around the left side. Takes it for first down yard. Is down two. The Groton Dunstable 31. Fresh set of downs for the Hawks. Great vision there to hit that cut right when he needed to. Gained an extra eight yards. And he made himself small, too. Yeah, he did, squeaked he, right uh, through. He turned and squeezed through that hole, able to pick up the first down. That's, that's his best run of the night. Really hasn't been, get, been able to get a whole lot going. Yeah, and that one a little bit more inside. Attaway fakes the handoff, takes it to the left side, picks up a block from Arreyes. Down to about the 12-yard line. He's forced out of bounds by Finn Bernard, number 18. First down and 10 from the Groton Dunstable, 13. Attaway's got two receivers to the left, one to the right. Gives it to Rudd. Rudd makes that cut off guard, takes it down to the 10 yard line, inside the 10, about the nine. Second down and six for Jake Attaway on the Hawks. O'Brien goes to the right. Arias on the numbers on the left side. Pump fake by Attaway. Oh, stumbling. Weaves his way down inside the five yard line. He took a stick right at the 10 yard line too. He, and he took about two more before he finally was stopped at the two. It was a punishing run. Know, yeah, I don't know how he kept his kept his feet as long as he did. He was stumbling through there and taking shots all the way. First down carry for Attaway. First and goal from the for the Hawks from the Groton Dunstable two. Attaway throws underneath incomplete. That was a good spot for that ball, low and away. Just couldn't uh, bring it in. Looks like he was trying for the tight end, Owen Anatovich. Fell incomplete. Second and goal from the two. Eight twenty-three left to go before the half. O'Brien wide to the right. And Rudd takes the handoff. Going to be down just shy of the goal line. Looks like he tried to reach out for that at the end there. Yeah. Maybe uh, with the NFL footage, we would have been able to see that. Yeah. But <laughs> uh, I'll put my money on two tries from right there. <laughs> Third and goal. Attaway flushed out, had to change direction. He's brought down. Um, nope. Singles the touchdown. Stumbled his way in for the touchdown. I don't know how he made that last five yards, but he did. Not the prettiest red zone trip, but seven points, seven points. And 
kick is up by Malahi, and it is good. So four possessions by the Hawks, equal four touchdowns. The 7.42 left before the half. It's 28 to nothing, Hudson. Sarah, I didn't know you could multitask like that. She got it all going on. <laughs> maybe I'll. And maybe, we got two maybe, cameras tonight, too. <laughs> maybe for next week. Can I download a couple? <laughs> you can play. <laughs> We're taking requests. <laughs> yeah. We had that one night, too. Yeah. Hey, if I knew we did, you know, <laughs> apparently we do. <laughs> I didn't think we did, but we take a request. Lose to kick. From the 12, Palmer. Ooh. Strong Brought down tackle. at the 40. That tackle got him right at the thighs. He almost did like a half flip. Like Aaron Horton with the tackle. Brought and Dunstable takes over at their own 40-yard line. First down and 10. Falling forward. Bushnell on the carry. Hurry up offense here again. Look like Joe Lyman with the tackle. There's the give. Hand off on the left side on the sweep. Went to Ricci. Caleb Blues, nice job setting that edge, turning him inside. Help was a little late though and get the first down. First down Groton from the Hudson 48. Now Romich throws it offline, out of bounds. Second down. Bushnell Get some room. got a crease into the second level. And he's brought down by Malahi. Gain a nine, Groton quickly to the line. Another hard tackle on that one. Bushnell again runs into traffic, kicks it outside, gets around, lose, chased down from behind by Nanatovich. He's brought down at the 20 yard line. That'll move the chains for the Crusaders. Romich. A wide receiver screen over on the left side. Tackle by Malahi. Pass was complete to Caden Wolfrey. Oh 
Romich to give to Bushnell. Makes it around the corner, still on his feet. Down about the 10 yard line, gonna be close to first down. And it is. Ball spotted just outside the 10. They still can get another first down. It just inside the one yard line. Bushnell finds a crease. And he's brought down by the linebacker. Looks like it may have been Caleb Lewis on the tackle. Bushnell again. Wrapped up from behind by Ryan Yates. Gonna be stopped short of a first down. It's like third down and two. Bushnell grabbed again by Yates, slowed down. And enough positive yardage for Bushnell. It's going to be first down and goal for Groton Dunstable from the Hudson one. Bushnell stopped for a loss. Yates again on the tackle. Second and goal. Bushnell wrapped up again. Stop short. Looks like he picked up most of the yardage that he lost. Oh, third and about six inches. Oh, and out of the backfield. Oh. Caleb Blues came in hot there. <laughs> it was Romich with the keeper. Brought down by Luz. From the activity, the activity, the bodies down there. Looked like the ball may have come loose. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as that field shortened up, that option game. <laughs> Not as effective. Hawks cut him now at a fourth and three. Timeout. Groton Dunstable. Tonight is senior night here at Morgan Bowl. And this year's edition of the Hawks have uh, have plenty. Yeah. <laughs> 15 seniors on this Hudson squad this year. We'll be bringing that coverage live after the game, right? That will be after the game. So if you don't... Uh, Stick around. If you don't want to participate <laughs> in senior night, we'll send you off at the conclusion. And those of you that do want to participate in senior night, you can stay for a little while longer. Don't touch that Bush TV now. Brought down. Campbell on the tackle. And a defensive stand, goal line stand. And by the, the Hawks, Hawks force another turnover on down. Second time tonight that Groton victimized by uh, the turnover on downs. And the Hawks got the long field. They'll take over at their own three yard line. 301 left to go in the half. Attaway throws out to the 15 for Arias. Takes it a few more yards, steps out of bounds, stops the clock at the 18 yard line. Seven seconds came off the clock. 2.54 left in the half. Great timing on that route. As soon as the Reyes got out of his break, ball was there. 
Well done. Attaway. Try it on Fires that side. one to the left for O'Brien. And he gets out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Call it the 33. He was forced out of bounds by number three, Will Vogel. They throw enough outs here. I bet they could just uh, run a little shimmy and then a post and might some, have, find something open in the middle. First down and 10, Hudson from their own 31. Attaway, four star in the pocket, throws it low. Intended for Arias. Marlon Metellus in defense of the pass. Two forty two left before the half, second down and ten. Attaway, two step drop. He's looking deep. Ooh. And it's going to be an interference call. Just as O'Brien started to create the separation. Uh, wait, wait, hang on. He said, oh boy, he's <laughs> uh, uh, grabbed onto a handful of shirt. It's going to give the Hawks some free yardage. The Grunt and Dunstable coaching staff pleading its case down there around the 34 yard line, but uh, nothing doing. Gonna move the Hawks out to their own 47. First down and 10. Attaway. Looks down the near side for Reyes. Tightly covered by Metellus. Almost looked like he was waiting for the opportune moment to try and yeah. then put on a burst of speed. But the pass was overthrown. Second down and 10. And the throw down field. Oh. It's intended for loose. I don't think he saw it. He might have had a play on it if he, if he had seen it come out, but couldn't get his head around. It was a little tight end seam. Hawks opted to just take shots here instead of, you know, try to matriculate a little bit, but. 25 left until halftime. And the Hawks will use a timeout. I think that's their first. 225 left to go till halftime. It's all Hudson so far. 28 to nothing. See Coach Mack there chatting him up. Dance team, our uh, halftime performer tonight, we or got, is it the cheerleaders tonight? I think we get both. Oh. Double feature. Twin Bill.
Third and 10 for the Hawks. Attaway. Whoa, coming in hot. Rolls out, escapes one tackler. And he's, oh. Skirt, skirt. Stutter step <laughs> at the 45, able to take it another five yards for the Hawks first down before he got out of bounds. Stops the clock with 2.15. Like he was gonna get out of bounds right around the 40 yard line. I, I mean the, the 45, did a little stutter step, a little bought him some time to get a few extra yards. Pick up the first down. Ball at the Groton 40. And O'Brien spun out of bounds at the 35. Pick up a five on the play. Second and five inside of two minutes left before the half. Stops the clock with 158. Hawks took the ball over from Groton at their own three yard line. Now sits at the Groton 35. Attaway flushed out again. Picks up a couple of blocks. Ooh, slipped there. And it was ran a long way, picked yeah. up a three. Will Vogel, number three for the Crusaders. This is the third play in a row. He's, uh, he's come in unmolested right up the middle. Forced out away to escape the pocket. 106 left before the half. Three to the left. With some time. Incomplete. Intended for O'Brien. It's like he had quite a bunch over there. He had his yeah, choice of three different receivers. Yeah, some kind of confusion. They all ended up in the, in the same section of the field. Inside of a minute. Same three to the right this time. They give to Rudd, kicks it outside. One man to beat, stiff arm. Oh, number seven, Metellus. Be a first down for the Hawks, down to the Groton 15 yard line. Another good run out of Rudd. And the Hawks with another timeout. Stops the clock with 45.7 left before the half. Hawks looking to go five for five on their first half drives tonight as they lead 28 to nothing over the Crusaders of Groton Dunstable. Yeah, Hawks seem to like their deep uh, passes tonight. I don't know if that Secondary seems like a weak spot for Groton, but uh, they've put a lot of balls in the air so yeah. far. And a throw Ooh. to the goal line. Caleb Lewis able to get one hand on it. Pass is incomplete. Second down.
O'Brien Malahi to the right side this time. Lose in Arias to the left. Attaway escapes two tackles and doesn't escape the third. He's brought down from behind by Will Vogel. And the Hawks will use a timeout here. 31 seconds left in the half. The third down and 13. That pass rush getting a little discouraged with the escapability of, <laughs> of Attaway. You get rolling out of there. They've been getting in, but they one are, little juke. I mean, somebody's, <laughs> somebody's getting through almost every play. He's, yeah. been, he's been forced out of the pocket, especially on this drive, but he, earlier in the night as well, he, he's been forced out of the pocket pretty quickly in the, in the progression of the play. But just good athleticism there by Attaway to avoid it and make a play. O'Brien to the right with Arias. Attaway chased down again. Nate Spinali. Another tackle for a loss. 14 seconds to go for the half. Hawks out of timeouts. Attaway over to the corner. Oh. To O'Brien, touchdown! Well, a last ditch effort. Fourth down, <laughs> seconds left in the half. Punch one in. I guess that's not a punch, but a toss one in. Four seconds left in the half. And the extra point is good. 4.8 to go in the first half. It's all Hudson, 35 to nothing. Caleb Lewis to kick 4.8 left in the half. Lewis, the left footed kicker. Line drive from the 15. Alex Ricci, and he's going to be tackled, and that'll do it for the first half. We're through the first half here at Morgan Bowl. It's the Hawks 35, and Groton Dunstable nothing.
Doesn't have a it's the, just an iPhone. Is it a specific song? Um, it's Seven Nation Army and then an old fight song. So I can start? So we get ready for the second half. Hudson explosion in that first half. The five possessions, the five touchdowns. And second half is underway. Loose, low driving kick rolls over near the 35. Jeez, if you're the kick returner, don't you let that ball roll out of bounds? And you... Yeah, you get the penalty. But uh, it was fielded right on the far sideline. Groton Dunstall will take over first down and 10 from their own 35. Kind of an anemic first half for Groton Dunstable. A punt, an interception, and two turnover on downs. And Bushnell gets the handoff, takes it for about five. Now hurry up. Still in effect for Groton. Long throw. Intercepted. 
Ty Malahi at the 30 yard line. Nice job going up and getting that. High point in that ball. Not the drive Groton wanted out of the first, out of the half. Malahi with his first interception of the season gives the Hawks the ball at their own 31 yard line. Attaway, the give to Rudd. Oh, check that. Logan loose. Pick up a five. It's kind of been this second half go-to guy for most of this season. Kind of take a little bit of the pressure off of Jacob Rudd, and Luke Logan Loose now in at tailback. Picks yeah, he runs way, hard. Picks his way forward, no gain on the play. He's gonna be brought down right about the line of scrimmage. Give it a yard. Third down and four. Attaway under center, fakes the handoff, rolls to the right. And he's gonna be brought down from behind, flag flies. Nate Spinale on the tackle, see what the call is. Could have been a, yeah, it's horse, horse call a tackle on Spinale. It's gonna be a 15 yard penalty against the Crusaders. And it'll give the Hawks the first down. Ball spotted at the Hudson 49. First down and 10 for the Hawks. And loose. Looking to bounce into some open space. Not able to do it. He's wrapped up by Diego Garcia of the Crusaders. Gain of two on the play. Ball spotted at the Groton 49. Kyle Arias is gonna go to the left. Loose. Not much there. Loss on the play. Third down and 10. Arreyes is left. O'Brien to the right. Attaway looks downfield, left side. Oh. In and out of the hands of Arreyes. Tight coverage by Marlon Metellus of the Crusaders. Fourth down. And the Hawks are gonna set up to punt this one loose. Back about his own 35.
Good punt by Luz. Drops down at the 21 yard line. Ty Malahi is gonna down the punt. So kind of a moral victory for the, for the Crusaders. The yeah. Hawks forced to punt for the first time tonight. And we're uh, eight minutes, 27 seconds left in the third quarter. If you're just joining us, it was all Hudson in that first half, 35 to nothing over the Crusaders. Crusaders haven't really gotten much done tonight. They're gonna try it again from their own 21. Little swing pass out of the backfield. Nenarowicz there to make the tackle with Campbell on Will Vogel. Pick up a five on the play. And quick handoff. Not a whole lot there, maybe a pickup of a yard or two. Groton going back to the well on that option play. Murph the comfort dog in attendance tonight. He's really an attention getter. Now Romich chased out of the back of the field, throws underneath for Bushnell, escapes a tackle, escapes another one, the flag flies. It flew right about the spot of that missed tackle. We'll see if uh, Finn Bernard had something to do with that, number 18. And it's gonna be legal use of hands. Gonna go against Crusaders. Third down and six. Romich looks downfield. Ooh. Pass was tipped by O'Brien and knocked down the intended receiver, number 21, Caden Wolfrey. Brings up fourth down. So Groton forced to punt once again. They have the strangest punt formation. <laughs> yeah, watch the fake, right? And flag flies. Fair caught at the Groton 49 by Kyle Reyes. I don't want to say they're overthinking it, but they might be overthinking it. <laughs> two punts, two penalties. False start against Groton Dunstable. Looks like Coach McInesby's going to push him back five yards, make a punt it again. Nope, they moved it up, and the Hawks will take over at the 44 of Groton Dunstable. Got the Luge tandem in the backfield. Oh, there's a nice hole. Logan Luge be close to a first down. Thank you. 
It's okay, I had some unnamed sources before this game <laughs> uh -oh. tonight. We, we were kind of talking power rankings and things like that and hypotheticals. Um, it's a good chance that these two teams will meet again next Friday night in the first round of the state uh, playoffs. Yeah, that'd be something. Back-to-back -back games. Logan Luce got a follow brother Caleb around the corner. Get picks up a huge block. Brought down at the 20 yard line. Finn Bernard on the tackle. Probably a good kid to follow around the corner like yeah. that. Caleb Luce <laughs> out in front of his brother Logan. First down Hawks from the Groton 20 yard line. So we'll have to wait till it all shakes out. These, these, uh, the playoff brackets are going to be announced Monday morning. And lose back to the original line of scrimmage. But uh, yeah, I was talking to some of the coaching staff before this game. They said it's a pretty good probability that these two teams will meet again next week. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hawks, if they can keep their lead here, probably be home next week. Might be back here, just fill it up again. Yeah. Maybe we can just play this tape. <laughs> <laughs> Call it even. <laughs> and a false start will go against the Hawks. Badge on his coat. Loose. Ooh, squeaks out. Scoots free. Shakes off a tackle ball, is loose. And it's jumped on by the Hawks. I don't know how he got out of that scrum in the middle there. Looked like Yates able to recover that. Loose ball. Third down. Third down and four. From the Rotten Dunstable, 14. Logan Luce sidesteps a tackle, still on his feet inside the five. Luce is a smaller first back. Goal for the Hawks. He's a smaller back, but he keeps the legs churning. He does a nice job. Three forty-five left to go, third quarter. Ball spotted at the five. Logan Luz cuts back up the middle. Touchdown, Hawks. Picked up a nice block from his brother and scooted through the hole for another Hawk touchdown. Five-yard carry for Logan Luz. Puts another six on the board for the Hawks. Malahi to kick, Attaway to hold. And extra point is good, perfect. In conversions, 327 left to go in the third. It's the Hawks, 42. And Groton Dunstable, nothing. Clock is running from this point on. Yeah, that's a pretty significant lead there. That's going to be tough to, uh, if they do get matched up again next week. <laughs> yeah. Come back, <laughs> you know, if the score stays this way. Right.
42 on the board for the Hawks. Not even done with the third quarter. No answers defensively, really, for, for Groton. And Groton really hasn't been able to get anything done when they do have the ball. Lose. To the 12. Palmer up the far sidelines, brought down at the 35 yard line. Groton still in the hurry up mode. Romich is gonna hold on. Hawks didn't buy the fake. Yeah, they've been pretty disciplined with that option play, making sure they cover that quarterback. Uh, like Joe Lyman nice job there. into the backfield that time. Bushnell this time gets the handoff. And wrapped up after about three or four. My wife is here tonight. Yes. <laughs> In the booth. Is this your first game? <laughs> you know how long I've been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> And Romich buried at the 40-yard line. Giorgio with the tackle. Ten seconds left in the quarter. Be the last play of the quarter for Groton Dunstable. If they get it off. Yeah, they're not going to get it off. Time expires in the third quarter. We're through three. Here at the Morgan Bowl on senior night, it's the Hawks 42. And the Groton Dunstable Crusaders, nothing. Sarah, they're all looking at you like you did something field, wrong. <laughs> I don't know, did you? Red Sea doesn't mind it. Oh, they got it. Is this Drake? I, it's, I think everybody's Drake. <laughs> That's a good guess. Yeah, <laughs> If I don't know and it's fairly modern, I say, hey, is this Drake? <laughs> Bye, nice to meet you. All right. That's enough fun for one night over there, Makula. <laughs> we still we still got anybody? <laughs> still with 54, it's nice. What was the highest? 68 tonight with the live stream. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Tell Shay I want those on the table and tonight. It's, and it's Pete from, Pete from Hudson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Shay I want those sitting out in front of him tonight. <laughs> All right. Thank you. See ya. What I miss? <laughs> 
Not much. <laughs> Romich, they give to Bushnell. Bushnell cuts it upfield. Wrapped up by Luz. So Dylan clock Kerrigan running here, right? And Brandon Figueredo in on the stop as well. Clock will run here. With this, yeah, clock this is running. Lead. Bushnell. Spun down, looks like it's be a first down for Groton. And a Crusader, slow to get up. Be a first down for Groton around the Hudson 25, call it to 26. Romich in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff to Bush now. Rolls to the right, not fooling the Hawk defense. He's spun out of bounds by Logan Luce. Brandon Figueredo in there is over there as well to help out. Loss on the play. Second and 12. Bushnell into a crowd, no gain. Third down. Romich, nowhere to go. Double team by Luce and Figueredo again. Fourth and long here. Fourth and Toledo. Clock continues to run, 8.15 left to go in this one. Romich. Throws underneath to Bushnell, nothing there. Lowe's, Giorgio, and Anatovich able to make the stop. Groton turns over on downs once again. Hudson takes over on downs at their own 35. Clock continues to run, seven minutes, 30 seconds left in this one. All Hudson as they lead 42 to nothing. First man through that time, number 36, Angelo Rodriguez. As uh, the Hawks have made some wholesale changes in their lineup. Rodriguez again. And stopped at the line of scrimmage, but no gain. Yeah, looks like they're gonna give him a yard or so. They're gonna move the sticks on the other side.
We got third down and about seven. Alloway. They give to Luce, and he's wrapped up quickly. Loss on the play. And the Hawks will punt this one away. Caleb Lewis to kick. Takes a Hudson bounce. Inside the 30, he's gonna be down at the 25 yard line. Second Sam time. Spencer <laughs> downs the punt. Took his time kicking that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> Almost looked like he was gonna do something crazy with <laughs> yeah. it. He, he kind of took off out of the backfield after he got the snap. Feeling real confident in that blocking. <laughs> one of those rugby punts that they yeah. do now. Twenty-five yard line for Groton. Giorgio Nanatowicz and Cam Yates with the tackle on Bushnell. As we creep down to four minutes left in this one. Bushnell picks his way for a couple. Brought down by Attaway and Newton Clark Savion. Bushnell again into the arms of Giorgio. Maybe a yard. To bring up fourth down. Three wides for the Crusaders. And yeah, they're going to kick this one away. No one back for the Hawks. And it's gonna be down at the 28 yard line. Harry Palmer downs the punt. The 2.25. Left to go. Couple of knees and uh, this one's pretty much over. I think so. So the Hawks will improve to eight and O oh on the season. Four and O oh in league play. Groton will slide off to five in three on the regular season. Attaway brought down for a loss. So whatever your news source is for high school sports, you could check in sometime around noontime on Monday and uh, you can see 
who the Hawks will be playing in the playoffs. They'll kick off next Friday night. We do know that uh, the Hawks will be here. They should retain their number one ranking in the state power rankings, Division Five. And it might be against this very same Groton Dunstable team, but uh, we'll have to wait until Monday to find that out. And the handoff to Angelo Rodriguez. Pick up a four. Maybe time for one more play by the Hawks. We'll see. Fourth down and eight. And the Hawks are not going to get one more playoff. And time expires. The Hawks came out convincingly last, last game in the regular season here for, in league play for the Hawks. And uh, I think they made a statement tonight with the 42 to nothing victory over the Groton Dunstable Crusaders. Like we, we said a few times tonight, this might be a team that they're gonna face next Friday night right here at Morgan Bowl. Yeah, they look good. They look sharp, efficient, scoring on their first, what, five drives of the game. Um, you know, they keep that momentum up. They could be pretty solid going into the playoffs here. Yeah, they didn't, you know, they didn't force a ton. They Early in the game, they were taking what was what was given to them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that underneath play to, to Reyes and yep. O'Brien and both, both sides of the field, that, that play was there all night long. And the Hawks took advantage of it especially early and often. They came up four touchdowns in the first quarter, kind of shut the lights out on the Crusaders for the night. But we're going to uh, continue on with the senior night presentations. But your final score again here, the Hawks improved to 8-0. No. Hudson 42, Groton Dunstable nothing. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna take a few minutes here while the parents take their positions down along the running track down in front of the press box. Need a Keurig up here or something, you know? Especially for these. Maybe a space heater. <laughs> this is a heater down the way. It's uh, nah, you don't need a space heater. Next week you might need one. It's football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had mittens in case you wanted some, Sarah. <laughs> it was. It was decent. It's all right that I didn't get any gloves. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you want some gloves? I got them. I got them. <laughs> you want them? I got them. Hawks are finishing up their post-game talk down to our left. <laughs> we talked earlier in the game too about uh, you know the 
the discipline, the, we kind of questioned the discipline a little bit the last couple of games. Tonight, almost a clean sheet, couple of penalties by the Hawks, but uh, a lot less than, than had been creeping in in the last week or two. Yeah, that game last week got a little chippy. Um, it was a close, it wasn't really a close game, but a lot of points scored and uh, North Middlesex definitely gave him a run at least. Yeah. If Hudson wasn't up so early in that one, I think it would have been a little bit more of a back and forth. We're going to get uh, get ready for our senior night festivities. And Coach Mack and Espy and his coaching staff in the Hudson High School class of 22-23. I'd like to thank all the senior parents for all their support throughout their entire football careers. They know that all their success, both on and off the field, comes from the numerous hours you've spent assisting the players in all of their academic football and social aspects of their life. Without you, we would not be the young men we are today. We know that all of you, uh, we know that all of our success has started with you. from the dance team, senior Bella Bush. And her parents, Justin and Leanne. Out for the Hawk football players. Did 15 seniors on this 22-23 Hudson Hawks football squad. As you look at those players lined up on the sidelines, that's a lot of catches and that's a lot of tackles uh, lined up along the sidelines. Starting with number two, Kayla Blues. And his folks, Linda and Al. And Logan checking in for the family picture as well. Number three is Kyle Arias. His parents, Carol and Jeff. Number four, Keith linebacker, Campbell. Keith Campbell. <laughs> Tanisha Muse and Keith Campbell Sr. There to greet him. Some flowers for mom. Number five, Caden Regal Lee and his mom, Susanna Regal. Number seven, Will Jackson. And his folks, Liz and Brett. Number 
And all the other Jacksons join in. Ben, younger brother. Number 12, Brendan O'Brien. And his folks, Paula and Richard. Next up, number 13, Logan Garcia. His parents, Tanya Garcia and Ryan Hood. Number 15 is Ty Malahi. And his folks, Kelly and John. Number 23, Tana Cutler. And his folks, Heather and Kevin. The family of five down there. <laughs> Next up, number 25, Jacob Rudd. And his folks, Katie and Josh. Number 36 is Angelo Rodriguez. Be joined by Fernanda and Juan Onate and Ricardo and Michelle Rodriguez. Number 52 is Ryan Yates. Joined by Aaron Jamison and Chris Yates. And brother Cam in for the photo as well. Number 54 is Sam Spencer. And his folks, Liz and William. Sam joined by younger brother Ben. Number 57 is Joe Lineman. Joined by his folks Angela and Michael. And number 77, Keegan Con Cannon. And his folks. Laura and Robert. <laughs> and that is gonna do it for our senior night tonight. 15.
So good luck to them, but there's still work to be done. These Hawks will be at home here at the Morgan Bowl next Friday night. The opponent to be determined will find out sometime midday on Monday who these uh, who the Hawks will play next Friday night. Could be this very same Groton Dunstable team that they face tonight, but we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. Your final score again tonight from the Morgan Bowl on Senior Night. The Hawks 42 and the Groton Dunstable Crusaders nothing. We will see you next Friday night. For Kim and Sarah, I'm Pete Conti. Good night.